doing uh, the news round uh, can be it can be used in many ways. You, you can make it referential where you just repeat what's been in the headlines on a superficial level, but you can also uh, challenge the students cognitively in in, uh, in many ways to try to make them connect what's been going on in one subject to other things they've learned in other subjects and to what they have experienced in the world or read and seen. So doing the news round can be done in, in all kinds of levels. What I discovered after having done the news round for a while was that the students were just doing a copy and paste. They just read out the headlines they were not really willing to discuss. And after a while I realized that the reason why they didn't really discuss things was because they didn't really understand the content. So little by little, when we came back to the same story week after week, I was able to develop some kind of in-depth understanding of the topic. For example, uh, in, in one news round, there was this uh, episode in Kabul that one of the students uh, put forward. Uh, I can't really remember what it was, but it was some kind of uh, explosion or a terrorist attack. And then in the classroom, I actually had one student from Kabul, and he was sitting there. And the students made no connection between that student and his hometown. So that gave me an opportunity to, to relate things that be read to the classroom and to personal experiences from that student. And also to dig, dig deeper into the topic. And when, as, as time went on, we came back to the same topic, maybe in different versions, and then they started growing more motivated. They became interested in the topic and after a while, I, I um, experienced that they came to me and said, have you heard what's happening related to what we had been discussing uh, in the last week? So I found that very motivating, both for me and for the students.